Hi, uh, today I have come up with a very interesting video. Now here you can see I have a glass rod and I have put some compound on it which is organic salt. Uh, it is benzoic acid. What I am doing is a flame test. So what I have done is I have taken the compound on the glass rod and I am just heating it and observing what is going to take place. Now uh, you can see here in the glass rod there is a black residue on the glass rod right the uh, glass rod has become black the compound is uh, showing some blackness so this type of compound is aromatic now let us change the compound i have taken oxalic acid here oxalic acid citric acid tartaric acid you can take now here there is no black residue rather the compound is melting and it is giving you white flames no black flame is there so in this type of flame test we just have to take the compound and let it burn and this is very very interesting to see uh, see the full video now you uh, will be able to understand here it is only white flame there is no black residue neither the residue is black nor the flame now coming up with the third compound what i have taken is glucose now here you can see it is giving you light brown shade right the compound is melting with a light brown uh, syrup kind of thing and it gives you some kind of little bit sound also so this is neither giving you black flame nor white flame rather a brownish syrupy kind of mass this is known as sharing and this is carbohydrate compound so this confirms that the compound is carbohydrate now the another method to test is to take a porcelain piece and on that you can put a compound. Now what is the advantage of taking porcelain piece is that here you can take more of the compound and then that will uh, give you a clear idea. Now in the glass rod you saw some black kind of compound there right but what is sooty flame? Uh, that I want to show it to you. So now when you take a porcelain piece and you put your compound on it and you directly let the compound uh, get heated what you have to do is to observe now here you can see it is black right so what i can infer is it could be aromatic so to check what i'll do is i'll add more of the compound now and i'll allow it to burn now since the compound is in excess this will easily burn and now look how interesting is this this is giving you clear cut black sooty flame and that confirms that shows the presence of aromatic compound that means the compound is aromatic in nature the carbon sooty flame is quite visible now let us check how aliphatic is going to behave here so on the porcelain piece you will take the compound let the compound directly come in the contact with the fire and observe uh, glass rod also you can use porcelain piece also you can use today I'll show you only solid compounds how do they behave next I'll up, uh, come up with the liquid also you can simply dip the glass rod in liquid and see the same thing will happen now here you observe there is no black residue on the porcelain piece so just to cross check add more of the compound and again let it heat if it is aromatic, it will give you either a black residue or a black flame, sooty flame. But look here, there is no black color and the flame is also non-sooty. It is all white flame. That confirms that it is aliphatic compound in nature. So organic salt flame test analysis can be done in this manner. See the compound is only white, it is melted and now, and now let's check with the third type of compound which is I said carbohydrate. Now this will give you brown syrupy mass. So observe it is not giving you any flame. See it is brown syrupy mass. The compound is melted here with a brown syrup kind of thing. It is neither giving you sooty flame nor non sooty flame right so this is a compound which is carbohydrate so like glucose fructose sucrose etc so i hope you found today's video very interesting and if you are new to my channel do subscribe for more such videos and please hit on like and mention any comment if any thank you so much